fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester City, they face Paris Saint-Germain and it's coming up live here on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Walker. De Bruyne. A City free kick forthcoming. Well, he's the kind of player who you've always got to keep your eye on, Riyad Mahrez. Stuart, what should we expect from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's certainly going to be the key player today. Last time out, he scored those two goals, but it's his general play that was outstanding. Getting on the ball, making things happen, and he got his reward with the ball. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this. Verratti Idrissa Gay and Neymar it's a good looking ball in behind and the keeper did magnificently well that's just a wonderful save how did he stop that Over it comes. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. De Bruyne. Rodri. Foden. De Bruyne. Keeping the ball moving. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And back with Gay. Messi. Verratti. Herrera! And denied by the keeper. Impressive.
Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Stones. The ball with Rodri. Foden. Nicely timed tackle. And do they mean business on this occasion? Well, the counter chance looks very real. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Well, he knows he's on his last warning after that one. Well, I don't think it warranted a yellow card. He made a genuine... Understandably, he wanted to give it a go, but straight at the keeper. And room to Rome on the wing. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So City get things going again, and the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. Playing with purpose and control. And a timely intervention. Well, those stats tell us that PSG haven't dominated the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Wonderful chance! Strong hand on that one. City down by a goal and in need of inspiration from the corner. Taken short. Into the middle from Bernardo Silva. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. Verratti. Now inching towards half-time. PSG hold the advantage. Steve oh, Derek, big moment here. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. A trophy coming their way, surely. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So, 2-0 now. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Foden. And they need to get tighter here. But they took care of the situation defensively. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Neymar. Verratti now. Marquinhos. Under Herrera. Messi. And the intervention, a good one by Stones. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Yes, it looked like in that last challenge he took a heavy blow to his upper thigh. But there's no sign of it being taken off yet. Cheers, Jeff. Messi. Good effort here. And a little bit too much height on that one. De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Won it back.
Messi. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. He's beaten his man. Foden. Holland might still be able to do a bit of damage. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper error. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area. And the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish. 2-1 currently. I couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. A change in the offing for City. Rodri. On to Silva. A fine reading of the situation. A bit of running room now on the wing. It's Neymar! And a goal! To increase their advantage, it's a two-goal lead now. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Now the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. And room now out on the wing. But nothing comes of it. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Out of play for a Manchester City throw in. Oh dear, well that's not one that's going to linger long in the memory. Well he had a go there, nothing wrong with that, but he's got that all wrong. Gundogan it's with Gundogan Holland, and credit is due for that good piece of defending and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation I think he'll be a bit cross with himself based on that free kick. Not the execution he was looking for. Well, as we approach full time, Paris Saint-Germain absolutely coasting to victory, Stuart. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. Spot on with that tackle. Beautifully weighted ball. And Bernardo Silva has it. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. Well, they're getting closer, but they need to take one of these chances. Glorious pass from Ander Herrera. And Messi! Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. It's his advantage, Manchester City here. And successfully cut out. PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. 
for these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.